Good day, folks. Let's have a little conversation about fixed blades and why you should carry one, or depending on what you want to do with it, what kind you should carry. Let's begin. Well, fixed blades are great because they're fixed. You don't have to worry about moving parts breaking. You can be more aggressive with them if you need to cut things, if you want to pry things, chop things, process things, all kinds of things as you can see. But I'm going to just show you a couple of the ones I just happened to have in the car with me because I forgot to put my canister with all my extra stuff back in the house. So here we go. Let's let's get started. Now hunting. Most people, if you have a fixed blade, you're going to be in the woods and you're going to be hunting. So you're expecting to use your knife for game or just because you're cool and you want a knife. <laughs> well, this right here is an old Gerber that I have had for, oh God, ages. I don't even remember. When I, I don't I actually don't even remember the name of this knife. All I know is it's Gerber. It's got a leather sheath. It's got a nice thick spine, 90 degree, full tang. I made sure to look it up when I first got it. But it's got a nice point to it. But as you can see, it's got a nice belly. It's a clip point, almost a spear point. It's almost straight and it's got that false edge on the back, but I've used this for years. As you can see, the bad shape, the leather's in that. I probably need to work on that leather a little bit. It's been in a horse barn for a couple years. It's been, you name it. But Gerber, they make great knives. They're not like the best. I wouldn't say, uh, they're high end, but for a nice knife that you're going to use and be able to sharpen really well, I'd go with a Gerber. It's got a nice, thick, wide handle, so you're not going to get any hot spots if you're going to be doing work with it. But it's just like an all around knife that you're going to use for everything. That's pretty much what I got it for. It's light, very light. So you're not going to be chopping much with it. So you basically have a knife that is good for doing a little bit of everything and not specializing in one thing or another. Good old Gerber. Now, let's go with another aspect of having a fixed blade knife, and that would be bushcraft. Things you're going to be doing, it's not really survival, Although, it is, because you're going to survive in the woods. But it's actually working with wood, making fires. It's bushcraft. I would go, if you on a budget, with a Mora knife from Sweden. They come in these little sheaths. They're plastic, the polymer sheaths. They're probably not gonna hold up to too much abuse but as long as you take care of it we got a scandy grind which means there's no secondary bevel on the bottom it goes right from the tip to there which means you're gonna be able to make some really nice feather sticks if you're making a fire or if you're gonna whittle wood or gonna slice things it's gonna work really well and as you can see the handle nice and fat it's gonna fit in your hand really well no hot spots you can work with this for a long time without having any blisters and of course the spine is 90 degrees so if you use it for a ferro rod you start a fire bushcrafting knife why it's hot pink because I got it on sale for six dollars because it's hot pink and I figured if I dropped it in the woods I'm gonna find it all the camouflage stuff looks cool until you drop it in the woods and you never see it again. 
Moving on to the next one. Now there's a different aspect of fixed blades, which is the cool factor. Like this Ontario company combat knife. Now you can use any knife to do anything, but this, this one is designed specifically for fighting. As you can see, it's been beat up. I've used it everything from a throwing knife to chop wood. It's got a little bit of serrations at the back. Very shallow, as you can see. Very shallow. It's got the really fine point for stabbing, reinforced. Combat knife. Can I use this for bushcraft? Yes. Can I use this for, I don't know, cleaning a moose? Or deer? Yes. Is it made for that? No. Is it going to be harder? Yes. But for a fighting knife, if you're going to, you know, get in a fight with a marine on a battlefield, yeah, great little knife. Awesome knife for its purpose. A combat knife instead of a regular knife, still going to be good in a pinch. Moving on. Ah yes, cold steel, my favorite. <laughs> when I picked out this knife, because technically it's a combat knife, it's the compact, so it's the shorter version of the knife that the Navy SEALs actually use. They get them in buds, but I want it a nice sturdy knife with a straight edge. I didn't want any of those serrations because I want to actually use this in the woods. I want just an all around utility knife, which this kind of falls under. Unlike the Ontario Company knife, which is designed specifically for fighting, this one is designed for pretty much everything. That's why it's SRK, which means search and rescue knife. C for compact. Great straight spine, you can start a fire. It's got, as you can see, this fake edge at the top isn't very fine, so the, the, the tip here still got a lot of meat behind it. Now, if you wanted something with a stronger tip, you go with a Tonto blade, but I don't need that. I'm not going to be stabbing anything hard. I'm going to be using it for pretty much wood in the woods, using it to start fire or process stuff or making things. I'm just letting you look at it a little bit. It's so beautiful. <laughs> You know, fixed blades. When you want a solid piece of steel that you can rely on with no moving parts to uh, mess you up. A knife's a knife. You know, it doesn't matter if you have a knife for a different purpose. A sharp edge is a sharp edge. It'll get it done. So you get something that suits your personality. I could have got the full size version, but for what I want it for, this compact, it's got a five inch blade, that's all I need. Anyway, there you go guys. That just happened to be what I had on me. <laughs> Sounds funny. You have a wonderful night, and uh, stay safe guys. Bye for now.